In this review we look at another limited edition heavy haulage model from WSI Models. As usual it comes in a standard WSI branded box. And this model is an MAN TGX XXL Euro 6E facelift 6x2 tag axle tractor with a boss house 4 axle semi low loader. And after that mouthful we also have to add that it's in the colours of Torben Raffin which is a Danish heavy haulage company. As usual there's some knife work to cut the tape so we can lift the lid and then we can get out the parts which in this case consists of the tractor unit, the semi low loader trailer and there's also a bag which contains bags which contain parts to be fitted. Before we start just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. For the assembly, all we have to do is join the tractor and the trailer. And clunk click does the trick. So we're straight in under the MAN and it's a highly detailed chassis. The gearbox can be seen as can the exhaust pipe and the drive shaft runs to the single driven axle. The drive axle also has a different tyre tread pattern. There are beacon lights and a solid roof light up on top and there's nice signage above the windscreen including Torben Raffen and Denmark. This truck does look impressive with the MAN badge. And there are the other details you might expect including a realistic number plate. On the side of the cab the decoration is really impressive. There's the nice jumbo graphic. And there's some really nice sharp and tiny graphics on the door. And it's all complemented by highly decorated wheels. Looking behind the cab and there are more jumbo graphics. And there's also a ladder and some coiled lines. The diamond plated surface is convincing. The rear wheels also look great in the red and yellow colour scheme. And at the back the lights have plastic lenses and there are more sharp graphics. The trailer is a Boss House 4 axle and it's been used on many different models. It is highly detailed and there are various tanks and cables and hoses. And the individual axles are all modelled well. Hoses run through to the back. The gooseneck has a spare wheel. But the highlight is the tiny graphics along the edge. And that includes the Boss House logo and the yellow stripe. The trailer surface is a nice mixture of replica timbers and textured metal surfaces. Continuing the high quality decoration are the wheels. And there are yet more tiny graphics. And that extends through to the back of the trailer where there are also nice lights. With the MAN laid out on its back we can see the rear axle spin freely and there's a decent range of movement on the steering. Out on the test track and the MAN rolls nicely enough in a straight line. And with our usual check of the steering we see that it can trace out a curve but it also has some kind of self steering and it seems to go where it wants to. The cab tilts to a good angle and can pose tilted. And the engine underneath is a nice quality piece of modelling. And if we go super zoom we see it says MAN common rail. After inspecting the engine the cab closes nicely. The model engineering on the Boss House trailer is very good. There is nicely sprung suspension on each axle. And the rear two axles have linked steering. The landing legs at the front can be lowered by unscrewing. And no unsightly screw threads are revealed. But the stabilizers at the back for rear end loading are non functional. With the steering set on the trailer, we can try some maneuvering. And you can earn yourself bonus points as you try to reverse the trailer on your desktop. There are a number of bags of parts which give you display options. And there's a full set of deck posts. Here we've been lazy and just installed two of them, and that allows us to put in the transverse beam. 
and that provides level loading across to the gooseneck. Another option is to pull out the support beams along both edges of the deck. And as long as you've got patience and a steady hand, you can install little timbers all the way along both edges. Also included is a full set of container locks and they can be positioned for different sizes of container. But there's more and that includes loading plates up onto the gooseneck. And there are a pair of loading ramps in case you want to load something on at the rear. And if you're the sort that likes to boast about having something very long, then you can extend the trailer on this model. That then gives you a different display option and here we are loading on a large plate girder beam. If you want to transport a wider load you've got pull out marker boards at the gooseneck. And there are also plug in boards supplied for the rear of the trailer. Although on the review model these were very loose fitting. With the marker boards on we can put on a wider load. And here are some heavy crane boom sections. Or for something different you could carry around a crawler track frame. Models in the colours of Torben Raffen are certainly very collectible. And this limited edition is another attractive example. It's a really nice model with high quality detailing and functionality. And overall this model is a very nice example which is rated as excellent. Mm -hmm.